occasion is about crossing the park as the locals say the park being Stanley Park the expanse of land that separates these two great Merseyside rivals and he's fired over the corner well, the Liverpool were the victors in the last game against Bournemouth how do you anticipate it going this time Stuart well, they pushed all the way to the final whistle, but I thought it was a decent performance overall. Today, I'm expecting a similar outcome. Because... Well, possibilities in the centre. Takes the shot. Can they forge ahead? And there it is! The opening goal of the derby for Liverpool. A real jolt to the home fans. A good and fair challenge. And threading it through. And just has to remain calm. And it's in for Liverpool. Is there a way back for the opposition now? Genuine chance. Special moment for him. And that is all for this game anyway. It goes into the books as a victory for Liverpool. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent. Full of energy and pace. And the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. Payback, hey, you better take that. Just karma mm, Better take that oh, oh. Call the payback mm. Our camera's on one man Following a hat-trick Does he have another big performance in him this time? Here's how Liverpool are lining up That question One of the true cathedrals of football Anfield, the venue tonight. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. Virgil van Dijk. Decent looking pass. Oh, could be. Can they put it away? Sends it back. Stopped a surefire goal. To end stuff, but now they're forced to track back. Well, looking at the table, it might be a celebratory occasion for the home fans. Oh, he can score here, Derek. No danger now. Worth a try. Tremendous block. Moving forward effectively. Gaia firing it 
shots goal and they've won possession and Liverpool might be able to cash in and defensive play to be applauded player full of confidence at the moment what a hat-trick it was in the last match every time the ball came to me looked really threatening his finishing was excellent he's certainly going to be a marked man today Endo showing real patience can they forge ahead Joe Gomez a delicious piece of skill well they have it again and Liverpool could get in behind the defence Gaia what a genuine opportunity but it was squandered goal kick Olivier Giroud and he has options available the save was a good one was a defender in action And there it is, the half-time whistle. And the main thing is they're currently on course to book their place in the knockout stages today. Well, it's job half done so far, Derek. Now they need to see out the next 45 minutes. And coming up, it's Liverpool facing Tottenham Hotspur. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast. It should be a good game, that. Hopefully, I've not just given it the commentator's curse. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Federico Valverde good visualisation and execution opportunity here really still possibilities Giroud and that a piece of goalkeeping Nasser Milan still going forward as the minutes tick away even Steven and he could be in proper trouble here and a goal at this stage of the game, it might be decisive. And just look at their supporters. Well, let's take another look. And it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. Gaia. And having a goal! Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. From the board. Given away by Milan. Liverpool trailing late in this game. But who knows what happens next. And a goal to level it up late on here. Just look at the reaction. Well, here's the replay, and it has been coming. They've played some great football in this game. And so that is going to be that. The final whistle here. And they're in a pretty comfortable position because not only have they put a place in the knockout stages, it's still very much on for them to finish top of the group, Stuart. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Derek. It's job half done at the moment. They'll still want to take that top spot, though. It could make all the difference going into the next round. man the focus of attention he scored four in his last three what will he produce today playing it short and he favors the inside route still not clear Determined defending. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. A really good pass. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. And a decent save. 
an opportunity to level matters. And he finds the net. No difficulties encountered. So the final whistle, even Stephen in the end, a draw from the Liverpool point of view. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, it's a horrible feeling when you concede so late in the game. They thought they had the game won, but a lack of concentration has cost them dear here. A city imbued with the spirit of excitement and a stadium enveloped by anticipation. This has all the ingredients necessary for a tasty football recipe. And both sets of players are ready to throw everything into winning the game for their fans. Tottenham, how do you think this one will go, Stuart? Well, they'd be disappointed with that result. But if they show a little bit more energy... Oh, sorry, Stuart, look at this! Can they stop it going in? Really good piece of goalkeeping there. Dangerous looking through ball. And there it is, the opening goal, 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Has a go. Just what the Liverpool fans wanted to see as they extend the lead to two goals. Angles it back. A good and fair challenge. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Oh, that's a really good run. Opportunity here. Nicely struck. The sound of the referee's whistle. This match is in the history books and it goes down as a Liverpool victory. Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. A game of colossal importance and a stadium packed to the rafters. We can't ask for any more. How could it be otherwise when two high-level sides go toe-to-toe -to -toe and head-to-head? -head? This is football out of the very top drawer. And I must say, this stadium falls in the must-visit category for any football fan should the chance come his or... And a good challenge to bring that... This to make it 1-0. A goal! Accurate from the spot! Chance to equalise here. And confidently convert it! Good distribution. Shown inside. The fans really want him to shoot. And he's fired over the corner. On the head. Could cross it in here. And making the move to the inside. Valverde. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. And with that, the referee brings this contest to an end. All square here in what was a thoroughly compelling game. Stuart, your analysis. Well, it could have gone either way. I thought both teams were very positive, though, going hammer and tongs from the very start. And I think a draw is probably the fair result. Football has the power to enthrall, to captivate, 
and this occasion appears irresistible. Two magnificent sides intent upon impressing the wider world with a display of technical and tactical brilliance. So much riding on this. It's a fierce effort. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. He read the situation defensively. And playing it through. And nicely parried away. Oh, great vision. He's in here. And a goal courtesy of Mohamed Salah. His side in front to their delight. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Can he do it? Oh, fine stop. There goes the final whistle. And it doesn't get much better than this for them, Stuart, in the group stage. Top spot is theirs. Well, over the course of this group, they've been the best team. They've played some attractive football. They've worked hard to win the ball back. And they deserve to be top dogs. Now it's for real. The tactics and squad strengths have all been analysed by committed fans and neutral observers. A confrontation that all football lovers will revel in, knowing that we might be about to witness a simply unmissable occasion. Tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Arsenal taking on Liverpool. He'll have a go here. That was a tremendous save after a wonderful free kick. And Liverpool regaining possession here. Moving the ball forwards, how creative can they be? Oh, good save. Kunde. And nothing comes of that attack. Here's Jordan. Has a go. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. The cross is on. Crossed accurately towards the far post. And there it is, the breakthrough. That will do nicely. Well, here it is again. Saka's cross is asking somebody to get on the end of it. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Martin Federico Valverde. This is Salah. This could be troublesome. Oh dear, oh dear. Opportunity squandered, Stuart. Well, what a chance that was for the equaliser. You don't get too many better than that. And he's in. Still looking for space. They've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals in quick succession now they have the lead no wonder they're celebrating well here we can see it again he's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback and he makes no mistake with the finish he showed a lot of composure there so 2-0 now Jordan Pull one back here. Oh, that's a fine save. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances.
likes to run with the ball at his feet. Morata! And a goal it is! But offside is the verdict. Well, it's a good finish, but he was just offside. Great decision by the assistant, an absolute cracker. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Confident passing team when you're trailing. Strong but fair tackle. He's in with a chance. What an astonishing few minutes from seemingly out of it. It's all square again. Can you believe it? Well, here it is, 1v1 against the keeper, and the outcome was never really in doubt. He never looked like missing that. But the attack fizzles out. Well, good run and good ball control. Is it going to be? Oh, a goal! Can you believe what we're watching? It truly is a comeback and a half. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Well, he knows that could prove to be a massive goal. Just look at his reaction. Now, biting finish. These Arsenal fans are making so much noise. Can they get the equaliser here? That's a fine-looking run by Gabriel. Oh! Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. Oh, in with a chance! Surely now. And that is that, a point apiece. They cannot be separated. From the Liverpool point of view, what did you make of it? Yes, the disappointment is clear to see. Obviously, with 10 minutes to go, they must have been feeling confident that they could see it out. But that's football, Derek. That's what we love about it. Setting backdrop for a game of massive significance. The stage is set, a packed house at the ready, awaiting two teams who like nothing better than to test themselves on a stage like this. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Well, plenty of attacking width in this 4 3 3, but they'll need to get their midfield players to join the centre forward as much as possible. If not, pulls it back. Can he make it 1-0? And he puts it away confidently. And Salah! And it's in for Liverpool. Is there a way back for the opposition now? And Salah! And a wonderful diving save to... And that is going to be a free kick. He has time to play us over. Well, it clip. Full time then, and Liverpool go marching on. Yeah, I thought it was a fairly comfortable win in the end. They played really attractive football at times and there were some good individual performances. They'll certainly be happy going into the next round.
Take him underneath, trying to take me alive. 